Hey, what's up guys? My name is Jeff Dio, and I wanna to talk to you about my brand new book, Spark. Do you have any pet peeves? I have some pet peeves when it comes to worship leaders. Have you ever been in a situation where you were not the worship leader, but you were actually in a service, and there are some things going on? Like for example, uh, one of my principles when I talk to worship leaders and singers and musicians is that you cannot ask people to do in worship what you are unwilling to do. How many times have you seen something like this, right? You come to an end of a song and the worship leader goes, everybody lift up a shout of praise. And then they go, tune guitar, tune guitar, tune guitar, tune guitar, right? You know what I'm talking about? I mean, they're not shouting. They're not lifting up a shout of praise. You know why? Because they've kind of learned to use that phrase as a transition. It's not really something that they're asking people to do. It's like, hey, while we change keys and I tune my guitar, we're just gonna say something like, lift up a shout of praise. Guys, we gotta stop doing that. We gotta stop throwing out the, the fake hallelujahs, like hallelujah, hallelujah. Go back and watch yourself on, on your live stream. What is What are some of the things that you do that are just kind of uh, blah, or you just do it for the sake of doing it? We've got to breathe new life. We've got to breathe a new spark, right, into our worship leadership so that we're not asking people to do things that that we would want them to, you know, that they would do, but that we would not be willing to do. You know, we're, we're sometimes frustrated by the way that they respond or the lack of response. They're not smiling. They're just staring at us. Well, have you looked at the way you lead worship? Are you smiling? I've been in so many worship leading uh, places in churches and in, in conferences where there's just one worship leader pose. It's kind of that angst look with the eyes closed and the hand up, oh, you know, like, oh, we're miserable for Jesus. Man, has anybody got the joy of the Lord in them? I've seen guys that will sing, oh, happy day, happy day, you wash my sin. I mean, like, come on, guys, tell your face. We've got to have the joy of the Lord in our congregations, in our singing. And I'm telling you guys, it's going to change everything if you will get that smile on your face, if you get the joy of the Lord in your life and step in by faith. It's going to translate to the congregation. The congregation is going to light up. They're going to reflect what you are giving them. So I want to teach you how to do all this in my new book, Spark. And I want to challenge you not to ask the congregation to do things that you're unwilling to do. So we'll do this together. JeffDio.com, Amazon, check it out, my new book, Spark.